patient comes in and I screen them. I do a physical exam, a physical airway exam where I'm looking at their facial structure, I'm looking at their tongue posture, their swallowing, I'm looking at tooth wear pattern, I'm uh, looking at their history of orthodontic treatment, um, joint disease, temporomandibular dysfunction, um, they, uh, I'm screening for the polysomatic disorders. It, it's a, it, it's, and it's, it's an extensive thorough examination looking at, uh, structurally looking at the patient and also looking at their history. And then we further gather objective data with what's called a high resolution pulse oximeter, not to be confused with normal oximetry, it's high resolution pulse oximetry that uses a specific software that screens and it's designed for screening for <clears throat> sleep disordered breathing, and also a three-dimensional airway CT or CBCT, a CAT scan. So I'm, I'm uh, screening the patient with a physical airway examination, but I'm all, which is, can tend to be more subjective because I'm uh, getting data from the patient, their perception, but I have to uh, make sure that I also get objective data <clears throat> that is, um, uh, comes in the form of the high resolution pulse oximetry that lets us know what's happening with their blood oxygen um, levels throughout the night if it's going up and down due to sleep disordered breathing and its effect on the heart rate um, and and then of course the three-dimensional um, CAT scan <clears throat>